just day, take it day by day and uh, we have a good plan and we just follow that up and come here every day and uh, everyone has something to do whether it's recovery or today we had a good practice so that's just handle it like that and that's it. What are you doing as far as, I mean, you can't obsess about it 24 hours a day. So when, when you leave the ring, how do you try to get your mind off it and take a little mental break? Too? Same thing. I, I do the whole whole season. It's like every every time is different. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't decide like right now. I just go home and then see what, what happens. So just take it easy. Sam Bennett's considered one of those guys that takes his game to a whole new level in the playoffs throughout his career. What do you notice about him regular season versus playoffs? Uh, yeah, he's he's been amazing. Like, I know he's, I can't say he's like, yeah, obviously he's really good in playoffs, but he's really good in regular season. I can't say like he's any like different. He's doing that all the, every game. He plays hard every game. He he has enough skill to, to make plays and then he's a hard player to play against. So that's why he does. He's crucial for us and it's fun. Fun to have that guy on your team, not on the opposite team for sure. You only missed him a little bit in these playoffs. How big was it to get him back so early on? Yeah, it was great. Uh, he's, like I said, he's a huge part of us and uh, to have him back, it's, it helps, helps everyone else a lot. So he, he brings that physicality and that skill and uh, he, his line has been really good too. So it's, he's really good to have, have on your team. What about Duclair? Uh, do you see him being back uh, at or near 100% and what he's come back from? It's, it's great. It's that type of injury. Like it's hard to, hard to come back, but the way he's been, he's been playing since and the way he came back and looks like he does, he didn't miss, miss a bit and uh, <clears throat> maybe moving even, even a little better. So and playing with him on the same line is, is a privilege for me, so I'm really, really happy he's back. <clears throat> Patrick Hornquist isn't on the ice with you guys in the games, but could you, is it pretty important to this run for you guys? For sure, yeah. He's, uh, of course, we would like to like to have him in the, in the playing roster, but uh, right now he's, he's not there, so he's, but he's here every day uh, practicing or not practicing, like in the gym, he's pushing everyone everyone to be a better better player better uh, professional better person every day so he's he's living in in that way so he's won couple of cups that that helps helps to when you talk to him and you know he he knows what to do in these type of situations as a skilled two-way player did the change in styles affect you very much this year? was there were there many adjustments you had to make in your game or not really uh, every every year, like every system is like different. So of course there's some some adjustments, and uh, sometimes it takes a little more time. Sometimes it doesn't take much time, but it's just like depending on. I'm I've been always trying to be that guy who can play in any situation and any style of game. So uh, sometimes it takes time, sometimes not. But I'm trying to adjust and. Uh, this this type of game when you play a hard hard two way game you play good defense good offense that's exactly what we want to play and that's how how I want to play as well so yeah yeah, every team is a little different. Uh, like Toronto is more skilled. They have a lot of skilled players uh, to make plays in offense, on offense, and you just yeah. And then Boston, his historical season, like they all around really good team. Uh, it's it's a little bit a little different. Like Carolina is a different team too, and it's like different style of game. You just have to adjust, and but most important thing, you just have to play your own game and trust trust in that and believe that you can you can outplay them. And that's what we did last two last three uh, rounds. So. Did you think you were uh, as a team at this point at various times in your career? Like, did you think you were ready to burst through a big run in the playoffs or not? 
every every year I think we're gonna do this and uh, now we're here so gotta enjoy it and uh, like every year you work out in the summer you get ready for the season and during the season you you're dreaming about this and it's I, you can probably ask every guy and they, they will say the same thing. Paul likes telling the story about how in training camp, he said even the best players. Like guys get on the bike and nobody coasted. He said guys would get off the bike and they would fall off. They, they, he, was just, he couldn't believe how hard this team worked from, from day one of camp. Why was this team that way? What was it about setting the tone for this season by all doing everything he asked and then, for, then some for those five days of camp? Well, I think it's the like identity and mindset of this team and every player has bought in right away since training camp. Everyone wants to wants to bring something here and like our identity is to play play as hard as possible, be as as good as possible in both both ends and you have to be in good shape so everyone works really hard uh, whether it's on the ice or off ice and uh, we have good guys to to keep us going like coaches are getting us ready for for the games for the practices and we have good strength guys and physical guys like they they do an outstanding job to to get us ready so all we have to do is come here and work hard worst camp ever though right? it was yeah it was one of those <laughs> Thanks, Evan.